Christmas everyone. This is Southern Pioneer and uh, wanted to show you guys my, uh, I guess my second attempt at uh, solar. Um, these are uh, a couple of uh, obvious, obviously uh, photovoltaic solar panels and they're 180 watts a piece. Um, but uh, put these on a just a kind of a temporary situation here, a four by four post, and it does. By un unattached, it, it does, of course, turn and tilt and, uh, and all that. Uh, but I, uh, I did have some smaller panels on this, and I had to. Uh, these these panels are very large, much much bigger than what they look. But uh, I had to uh, reinforce it, so I just kind of put two before on the ground over there and I'm going to uh, beef it up some more but it's pretty sturdy here really won't, won't go anywhere and we've had some pretty high winds 40 50 mile an hour winds out here in South Florida and it just doesn't move but they're I think 40 38 36 36 volts uh, something like that but um, it's, it's designed this system is designed so in a bug out situation um, I can just unscrew these these bolts here on the side, these screws on the side. They're just drywall screws. Uh, un un unzip them real fast, pull the panels right off, um, and load them in the truck. In a bigger situation, I can have the whole solar system down inside of 30 minutes, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's why I designed it. That's why it is set up the way it is on a. Uh, temporary uh, pole platform here if you will but uh, I'll take you inside and show you the rest all right guys uh, this is what I've come up with uh, this little solar setup that I, uh, I put together um, and here's here's the disclaimer I'm, I'm no expert uh, I've learned just about everything I've, I've known uh, I know about solar from YouTube and, and reading some some books, a few books as well, but um, primarily YouTube. So if you see a, a, something I did wrong or something, just let me know in the comment section, and uh, have a little discussion about it. And just try to be try to be nice. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I'll get started with this. This is uh, basically you know starting with the panels. They're they're close to 400 watts. Um, something like that, 3, 360, 370. But anyway, uh, they, they do a real good job. I've only got <clears throat> two batteries right now. And I just really just got this system running. It's been running a couple of weeks. But I got a couple of uh, Trojan T105s um, that are, uh, they're fixed to be mounted. Uh, I'm gonna, when mounted, I'm gonna make a box out of this cabinet. So I'm gonna do this work workbench is going to be I'll put about 10 batteries in here eventually 10 or 12 T105s and it's going to be vented I've got a 12 volt fan for it and uh, it'll be vented outside right now I've got a fan uh, I've got ventilation in th this whole garage with only two batteries it's not I, I never smell any hydrogen or anything and it, it vents uh, through the open door here pretty good but I'll have this uh, bill within a couple of days uh, but anyway uh, those are 225 amp hours and they do real good for what I'm using right now the, the test system I should should say uh, and I'll, I'll get to to get to that in a minute but this is basically uh, I've got my of course my wires coming down from from my uh, solar panels and they're like 12 gauge wire uh, they run about 70 feet at about I don't know 60 70 80 volts or something like that but they come into this fuse box and it's just a square D. Um, I've got room to grow with it, but it's um, it's just a 20 uh, or 15 amp circuit here. Pretty simple stuff. And uh, then it goes right to my charge controller. That is a uh, BZ Products MPPT 500 and um, it's American made. I think I paid maybe 174 or something like that but uh, it's worked very very well with the exception and uh, some, some of you guys may, may know this 
uh, the readout um, is, is off. When, I, when it's charging, when the, the panels are charging, this gives me a different reading. See, the batteries are reading 12.5 right now, which is a, should be a full charge. Um, I don't know if there's any... Yeah, there's 55 watts coming off here now, so they're being pulled. So it's really reading, it should be reading right now somewhere around 13.1 volts. Um, but anyway, when I turn the power on, this is going to do some crazy stuff. Uh, See, so it's jumping up now. And the, the problem that, that this system has is with the chip that's inside and I t contacted the uh, the owner of the company and it's just a little chip that you just he, he sends a chip out and you just replace it and then it, it fixes it but if you actually take this panel off and you move this out a little bit it starts working properly it's too close to something I don't know but it's an easy fix I've read on forums about this issue and people are avoiding it because of the issue but the guys you know he's sending you the chip you just plug it in and it's done and it's fixed mine's on the way uh, other than that it works perfect uh, and it is American made when it, you know if, if I can sacrifice a little bit buy something made in America I'm gonna do it that's just the way I feel but I'm gonna leave that on okay so basically there's my charge controller it's, it's uh, it, 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 and it's not an outback, but I didn't spend the, that kind of money either. Uh, again, it goes to my batteries, and then out of the batteries, I've got a 400 amp fuse uh, in here, and then it goes right to my inverter. My inverter um, is a uh, Power Bright, and this is a Canadian design product. Um, it's made in China. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. I'm almost embarrassed. I didn't spend much money on it. Uh, eventually, yeah, I want to get an Outback uh, when I uh, uh, can afford an Outback. Uh, you know, $2,500 doesn't come cheap or easy. But, um, and then I just, I just have a power strip here. Um, but basically, uh, that's what I have for now. And obviously, I'm going to be upgrading the, the batteries here and um, get that finished off. But it runs really, really, really well. Um, and I'll, I'll record a, another segment here in a few minutes and we'll get to what the system is. It's kind of specially designed, and it, I did it for a reason. So, uh, second video coming up.